Anyone can Google Vancouver and find out lots about it if you're a visitor or if you're moving here. But some things only locals know and I'm going to let you know the best kept secrets in Vancouver. Everyone's heard of the Museum of Anthropology, the Maritime Museum and the Museum of Vancouver. But one of Vancouver's best kept secrets is this museum, the Rody House Museum. It was built in 1893 and it was the family home of a wealthy early Vancouver family. Gustav Rody was the dad and all of his daughters were raised here. This house has been a museum since 1990. One of the best kept secrets in Vancouver are the the False Creek Ferries and the Aquabus. These are little passenger ferries. You can take a stroller, a bike, or a wheelchair on them. Vancouverites usually use them to just go from point A to point B, like for example, Sunset Beach over to Granville Island. As a tourist, you could spend an afternoon or most of a day going to all the different stops along False Creek, across the creek and all the way down to Science World and then back and forth and get off at each stop and wander around a little bit with a fun afternoon. And no one seems to know about that. Here's something no one seems to know. You've heard of the Walk of Fame in Hollywood, but did you know that Vancouver has its very own stars on the Walk of Fame on the famous downtown strip of Grand? Anvil Street. Another thing that people seem to not know about Vancouver is at the West End. That's my favorite neighborhood. I talk about it all the time. I made a video about it. I'll put a card right there for you. If you're looking for a place to live in the West End, it's super old school down there, like pre-internet days. The buildings mostly put signs out on their front lawn that explain about the vacancies or lack thereof with a phone number. And that's how you find an apartment down there. I like to do it on my bicycle, walking a little slower. Driving, you could do it, but they have a lot of one-way streets. A bicycle is probably the easiest way to do it. But if you go on down there and you check out the signs, you could get lucky. If you like learning these secrets about Vancouver, just give it a smoosh, smoosh cats. Smoosh the like, smoosh. Another thing that people don't seem to know about Vancouver is we have so many beaches. If you go to Vancouver.ca, that's the city's official website, they mention nine beaches, but one of them is Trout Lake Beach. And I would not recommend going to Trout Lake Beach to do any swimming. It's like a little duck pond, tiny little duck pond. Yeah, no. So I would say eight beaches in Vancouver proper, but at least eight other ones in neighboring areas. So there's Ambleside Beach, Kate's Park, there's Wreck Beach, Oasis Beach, Surrey has Crescent Beach and White Rock Beach. And how cool is Vancouver that many of the beaches are accessible for people in a wheelchair. So they have these things called Moby mats that they lay all the way across the sand so that you can wheel your wheels from the cement part all the way to the water. And they also have water wheelchairs so that you can wheel right into the water and get wet and cool off. Vancouver is so cool, accessible beaches. One of my favorite places in Vancouver and also one of Vancouver's best kept secrets is the Sylvia Hotel. It was built in 1912 and it was for a while one of the tallest buildings in all of Vancouver and it was the tallest building in the West End until 1958. In 1954, the Sylvia Hotel opened Vancouver's very first cocktail bar and it's still a hotel where you can get a really good deal on a room. It was actually originally built as an apartment building, so some of the rooms still have their kitchen. The Sylvia Hotel is located in my favorite neighborhood, the West End, and it's right next to English Bay Beach. It's 13 stories tall, and at one time, when it was new, they had the restaurant on the top floor, the 13th floor, and it was called Dine in the Sky because it was such a tall building. How come no one seems to know about Commodore Lanes? It's a bowling alley underground right off of Granville Street in Vancouver in the nightlife strip of Granville Street. The Commodore Lanes is one of my favorite things in Vancouver. There is a saloon, you can drink beer, there are pool tables, foosball, 
and five pin bowling, which if you've never tried five pin and you've only ever done 10 pin, then get ready because five pin is way harder. There's gaps between the pins and the balls are smaller. <laughs> hey y'all, we stopped for a beer here at the Commodore Lanes because it's just so cool in here. It's been open since 1930 and I love it so much that I said to my trusty assistant, Dan, that we should stop and buy a beer just to support the business. So cheers, Commodore Lanes.